Hey guys, I'm back with another one. This is going to be a unboxing and review to take care of a little problem I have, and I'm sure most of you guys have, and that is the boom arm coming over your monitor and having the mic cover up harsh parts of your screen or all of your screen. So let's get right into it. Well, first let's talk about price. I'm known to be a splurger when it comes to tech and gaming peripherals and gadgets, but I do know when to budget when some things aren't necessary to pay the premium for. And that product is from a little known brand that you've probably heard of before when searching for mics or boom arms, and it is Fifine. I believe you could find this product on Amazon for about $60 and on sale sometimes about $50. So it's been a, quite a while since I've needed this and I'm glad I finally got it. I'm gonna put it to the test and tell you if it's really worth it. So let's get right into it. Before we get more into the video, I wanted to say that most of my unboxing footage got corrupted, so I'll be using what I have left and some B-roll footage from Fifine themselves. First of all, what comes in the box is the boom arm itself, with cable management channels inside, a pretty solid desk clamp, a rotatable ball head with a 1 4th inch adapter, a 1 4th inch to 3 8 inch adapter, and a 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch adapter. It also comes with an Allen wrench. This is the rotatable ball head mount. It comes with three adapters already screwed on, the 3 8 to 5 8 adapter, the 1 4th to 3 8 adapter, and the 1 4th inch mount. This Fifine boom arm is simple enough to set up. First lock in the desk clamp, then plug the boom arm right in. I then screw the 3 8 to 5 8 adapter into my Shure SM7 beam. After that, I attach the ball head mount to the boom arm itself. When attaching the ball head mount to the boom arm, there is a little ridge that you want to clamp onto and then screw it right in. Once that was done, I got the Shure SM7B and just screwed it in with the correct attachment. After popping off all the covers, I fed the XLR cable through and plugged it straight into the mic. My review of this boom arm is that it's a pretty decent boom arm. I like it. Uh, for half the price of Elgato's boom arm, I would definitely say it's worth the money. Um, there are a few cons to it with uh, the Shure SM7B in particular. It is a heavier mic, so in certain positions it does sag a little bit, but you can tighten the Allen wrench um, connector or the joint, and it seems to fix the problem, but now it, it becomes a little too tight to move around. Other than that, I feel like the build quality on it is very solid. It should last years to come as long as the Elgato product. Um, I haven't had an Elgato low profile boom arm, but I have been told that the covers pop on and off easily because I believe they are magnetic. These ones, they um, hold on by teeth. So I feel like that's like a much better option. They will hold on a lot better. It is pretty solid. I'll tap it right now, see if you could hear any uh, feedback. I, I don't believe it caught any feedback, but I'll see in post-processing, but it is 27 inches long. So it could come all the way out here. Try not to mess up my audio, but it could come out all the way past my desk. I like to keep it in a little bit. But other than that, I would definitely recommend getting this boom arm if you're looking for a budget-friendly boom arm that's not $100 like the Elgato boom arm. Um, if any of you guys liked this video and it was helpful to you, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. It allows me to keep doing what I do, and I hope you guys have a great day.